Hi everyone, so today I am 30 weeks and 2 days pregnant and we are officially starting the countdown session of when uh, baby Stella Sophia is coming. So I think personally that I'm going to give birth and I want to give birth at 38 weeks. Now I do have a reason why I want to give birth um, and I think I'm going to give birth a little bit early, early is because from the very first ultrasound my OBGYN has always said a certain due date but I always told her that I'm pretty sure the due date is sooner by a couple weeks than what she's saying um, and when I went to the hospital a couple nights ago due to some um, crazy pains and contractions they did tell me that they think I am three weeks ahead of what my OBGYN is telling me but nobody can really change the date because it's so far in the pregnancy that they're just not gonna change it but they uh, will keep that in mind when I go to you know have this baby they were gonna induce me when I went a couple nights ago but then my baby would have been premature and we don't want that so we just decided to not have her quite yet so we can already have her um, it's an option because she's so big and far along that um, they said it's possible but we're just trying to keep her in a couple more weeks longer about eight more weeks hopefully and um, let's talk about how I'm feeling so I just have like a lot a lot a lot of pain going on everywhere in this general area it hurts in my ribs it hurts on my sides it hurts down below um, I constantly feel like I have to be even when I don't have to be um, and when I when I walk around you know I just feel like she's about to fall out and I feel like I have to pee it's just like she's just everywhere pushing in every direction and I only gained nine pounds so far through this whole pregnancy and I'm already 30 weeks pregnant so we only have this is like the end we only have a couple more weeks to go so I didn't gain too much weight for her so um, it's mostly the weight that I gained is mostly her and obviously the bag that she's in that's full of water and all that so um, I think that she's kind of tight and crammed in there and that's why maybe the pain is so intense plus I did have a baby not even a year ago so the pains are a little bit worse than somebody that would um, ha that hasn't had a baby before or hasn't had a baby like within five years so that's kind of one of the one of the downfalls I guess when you get pregnant again right after having a baby that your pains and all that are a lot a lot worse and you know because you didn't get a full time to heal and let's see I'm really really exhausted during the day because it's hard to sleep at night so I'm just kind of exhausted but I'm just trying to push through it and um, get to giving birth and all that that way I can you know have my energy and my body back and all that and um, I'll show you guys being Miguel. He wants to be part of it. Hey. Say hi. Mm. Hi. So just really, really exhausted during the day. And um, I've been getting a, a really, really nauseous. So let me put him down. I've been feeling like I need, like, no, you don't want to go down? I've been feeling like I'm going to throw up like sometimes after dinner or just like randomly like I just feel like I need to throw up but I don't ever really throw up <laughs> mostly because I don't let myself throw up I think I could but I just I'm just trying to like hold it in I don't want to throw up because I don't like throwing up and I lost so much weight in the beginning of this pregnancy from throwing up that I just don't want to do it so feeling like nauseous exhausted and then the pains but besides that everything is going pretty well they are again saying that my baby is way bigger than uh, where she should be. She's already like three and a half pounds. I have my ultrasound uh, exactly in one week, so I will see how big she is. Um, but I already know that she's like three and a half pounds, which is pretty big for how far along I am. And besides that nothing really else going on I do want to show you guys some of the products that I use uh, for my belly and stretch marks and then just some other products um, that I like take 
So I'll start with the ones that I take. So I know that I showed you guys these in the first pregnancy videos, but I'm still taking my prenatals and these are the gummy bears. I take the gummy bears because I cannot take the pills. They make me throw up right away. So I get these for about $10 at Costco and they come with 90 and you take, um, you take two of them every single day, every, every morning or whatever you want to. I take them usually in the morning, uh, right before breakfast because I think that you should eat with them. I don't know if it says if you should or not, but I eat with them because if I don't, I do get a little nauseous from them. And, um, let's see, the next thing I take since during my pregnancies, I'm usually anemic. Um, I was really, really anemic in my last pregnancy, and then this one they said, like, I'm barely borderline anemic slash not anemic. So I just take iron pills to make sure, and these are the little tiny red ones, so they're kind of easy to take. And um, I got these ones from Walmart, probably like four or five bucks, no more than five dollars for the iron. <laughs> and then for my belly, um, Every time I get out of the shower, I use this Baby Yannick's Moisturizing Daily Lotions. Um, I started this kind of halfway through my pregnancy because um, I don't really ever use the lotion because I just don't like, I feel like lotion dries out your skin. So I usually didn't, but now that um, my skin is getting a little bit dry in my like stretch mark areas, I, um, I just been using this. And I use this one because it's fragrance free and it also has the SPN um, to protect you from the sun. And then it says that um, this is like approved by pediatricians and dermatologists and all of that good stuff. And I, I got this one on clearance for $7, but I think this is $10 um, for the original price. So I just use this right after the shower. And then I also use the um it works now this is kind of difficult to get because unless you know a person that sells it work products you kind of can't get them or you have to do it online and pay like a, a lot for shipping and handling it's like i think at least ten dollars for shipping and handling all together but um so i got this from an it works person my mom actually purchased this one from a lady that she knows and this is kind of expensive but it is a lot in here this is six ounces and it does last a long time because you don't need too much you just need like about a dime size um and it's forty dollars so that's why i'm saying it's a little expensive but it does it does last a really a really long time so this is the stretch mark cream and i put this on my stretch mark area so i put it pretty much from the belly button down because i only have stretch marks from the belly button down and then another strange place that i have stretch marks is behind my calf and this is because I got so swollen in my last pregnancy that my legs just got so, so, like, uh, swollen and fat that I just ended up getting stretch marks behind my calf. So I put this on my belly and behind my calf and anywhere else that I think that I have a stretch mark, but those are kind of the two main areas. And with this, this helps so much. My stretch marks are not red or purple like they were when I first got them. They're clear now, like not clear but they're like the color of my skin so they blend in so unless you're like standing really close to me and trying to like look and see um pretty much i don't think people would think i had, I had stretch marks so those are the products that i am using right now and i will continue to use the stretch mark cream after i give birth to help um out with that i don't think that i've gotten any more uh stretch marks and i asked my husband like has he seen any more ones that he thinks came from this one? And he doesn't think so either. So, plus I only gained 9 pounds. Um, so I think I haven't really gained any more. But I just want to not make them any more bigger than they already are. So, I think that is it for the 30 week update video, right? Right? <laughs> He's looking at the rain. Okay, so that was it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys at 32 weeks.